I mentioned they had a great meeting on Monday, though people were held accountable and it was a very positive discussion. Coutinho with the exchange, gets it right back. Coutinho still going. Coutinho dribbling on, and his shot trickles in and through. No whistle blown, and the Triumph have the lead. Well, the Fuego are incensed. They wanted to foul inside the box on Coutinho, but Emma Richards let them play on. Amongst each other. Here's a look at it again. Oof, I think the studs were up on Coutinho, but I don't think there's any recklessness in it. Take another look at here from a closer angle. I don't. I mean, it went down very easily to Casillas. Yeah, I don't. Sure. I don't think there's something. I don't think there's anything there. Coutinho working it forward. Inside to Castro, gives it right back. Coutinho to Pilato. Pilato shoots! And double the advantage for the Triumph! A wonderful exchange. Brilliant buildup from the Triumph. And a well earned two goal lead for the home side. Take finish. You knew that goal on Saturday was a boost for his confidence. Heading back healthy and then just doing it again. The very next match day. It's a lovely first touch to get away from. It's a poor giveaway. Here's Coutinho with some room to work with. Coutinho still going. Lucas Coutinho shoots! And he makes it three. Coutinho with a night to remember. This is the game that John Harks has been looking for out of Lucas Coutinho. There he is, you can see what it means for John Harks. Back in better than ever, Lucas Coutinho. A wonderful strike. One Knoxville doesn't have a shot on target here in the second half. One Knoxville has one shot on target for the match. What a spectacular effort, what a goal. Tormentus Mateus Cassini from an impossible angle. That came out of nowhere. One nil to the champions. Long ball, Cassini on the chase. How, how did he beat Lewis? Beats Skelton to the ball. Looked like for a moment it might fall to Vowinkle, but Tormenta able to clear it out, and now it's off to the races. Perhaps something developing here. Can Tormenta make it two? Low cross to the middle, and they do! Jackson Corey has finished this one off. A lovely layoff to the middle of the box by Cassini. And Corey leaves no doubt. Cassini, the second half substitute. In line for the man of the match with a goal and an assist. Lou Young, well angled, a little backfield to Maldonado. You said it earlier, Emily, Lou Young's been clean. Here's Olex Anderson. Oh, yes! And how about North Carolina FC? Olex Anderson! And here you see it. NCFC comes out on the break. He looks up and plays a beautiful ball right there. There's the beautiful Woo! Anderson comes out. Aviles opens up his legs, and Anderson puts it through the five hole, baby. Five hole special, Emily yeah, Gray. Yeah, we've been saying that North Carolina FC, they needed to capitalize on these opportunities, and Oleg said, yes, sir, it's me. <laughs> Uh-oh. He's on. I, I, he is on. Well said. Oh, the pass And how about North Carolina FC? Unselfish Olex Anderson to wrap up Mexican. Look at Anderson get behind the back four. He has space. All he's got is the goalkeeper to beat. He sees Rafa out of the corner of his eye and plays a beautiful square ball. A nice easy goal for Rafa and NS and CFC. Anderson, he's gotten in behind so many times throughout this game so far. Makes that extra pass. And, and there were two celebrations after that goal. One on the right for Anderson and one on the left for Mensigan. 
Your women's basketball team pretty good. Uh, yeah, they had a great season. I was hoping they'd bring us our national championship. McLaughlin. McLaughlin. Ruffle! Here you're going to see the play build up all the way back from Holiday, and this ball just falls into the space of McLaughlin. He pulls the ball back. He sees Rafa at the far post, and Rafa buries that in the far post. What a goal for NCFC. All three of them. Another team goal from NCFC starts from Holiday, ends with Rafa. A great finish, honestly, under a little bit of pressure there again. It is Flanagan's deliver. It's a good ball flicked in. And it's the opening goal for Charlotte Independence. Nick Spielman jumps the Jacks in front. What a good ball in from Flanagan. And Spielman just able to redirect it into that corner. Not sure if that was for an injury. Robertson had been great so far tonight. Here come the triumph now. Across the top of the 18-yard box. And Pilato almost got to that. Now Boyce looks to serve one up. Back post. It's loose. It's buried. It's Pilato again. His third straight game with a goal. And Greenville cash in against 10 men and take the lead in the 37th minute. This week, he was talking about his goal on Wednesday night, but he has yet another tonight. It wasn't dealt with this time by Lexington. The second ball left invitingly on the doorstep and Noah Pilato didn't need a second invitation. It was Devin Boyce with the delivery and it clattered off of Owen Green. The hero last week. Leonardo Castro able to keep hold of it. Trying the spinning back heel. And now Castro has it back. It's Leo Castro and there's the killer second goal. Leo Castro calls game. What a finish. What a moment. What a performance by Greenville Triumph on the road. It's going to be two wins in three days. Guts, grit, and goals. Well, it started with that audacious spinning back heel. Then he gets fortunate, but doesn't he make the most of that fortune? What a finish. It's cliche to say Austin Causey had no chance. It's also absolutely true in this case. He's not had much to work with tonight, Leonardo Castro. <laughs>